Hey everybody, it's Steve here. Welcome back to Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. We are heading into uh, the second dungeon. Uh, this time we're going after uh, Dracula's heart is the, uh, the body part that we're going to get this time. Uh, unlike the first uh, castle, um, I don't think there's any disappearing block. Well, there's these. I was going to say there's no disappearing or invisible blocks or whatever you want to call these things. I still don't know what to call them. They're not invisible. Um, fake? Fake blocks? I guess you would call them fake. Um, because they look like they're there, but they're really not. I don't know. Um, but anyway, with the exception of that one uh, wall of them that you can jump through, I don't believe there's really any here that you can fall through. Man, this thing, you got to be really careful of it. Especially on the way back. It will push you into the water. Uh, this castle is pretty straightforward. Um, just go all the way to the right as far as you can, right here. So where uh, you're gonna get your oak stake that you uh, that you need. So make sure you get it. Yeah, here's a little bit of business with this thing where it will try and it will try and push you off the edge. You know, the most difficult part of this game really is the jumps. I think I've said that before in one of the other episodes. Yeah, this, yeah, I remember this one. This is really straightforward. I'm just going to go all the way up. You're going to drop back down again. And uh, that's where the heart's going to be. Not much to it. Just a lot of roundabout uh, getting there. So I guess while we're doing this, you know, so that I can avoid some silence, uh, I, I started smoking again. Um, I, I'm not proud of it. I'm whatever. I don't know what I am. Oh, these jumps are a real pain. You've got to get. You got to be perfect with these, or else you're gonna fall all the way to the bottom. I can't believe I did that one try. Really, it's kind of tricky. Anyway, but and I guess I'll, I'll talk more about all this, you know, when it's vlog time again. But. For right now, I'll just say that, yeah, I went uh, 22 days, which is a pretty good record for me, um, considering my previous attempts at quitting. Uh, switch to your oak stake here, pulling it at uh, the orb, and uh, we will now uh, process Dracula's heart. I know, you're probably sick of hearing me say process instead of possess. Y you just gotta love it. I don't know. It's it, A lot of them... Um, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the quotations from this game, I would love to have, like, put on a shirt. You know, what a horrible night to have a curse, or the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Um, you now process Dracula's heart. I, I would love to have those on, on a shirt. But I, I'm a nerd like that. Whatever. Um. So, yeah, I, I lasted 22 days. Not bad, but it... It, it sucks. It sucks. I, I I threw away a lot. I threw away 22 days. You know. Here, I guess you just kind of got to take a hit. You really have no choice, as far as I know. If you're gonna get up that staircase. Um. Oh, level up. Sweet. So yeah, as you can see, I'm now level two. I could have been wrong uh, previously when I said that when you lose a life, you lose your experience, and I might have been wrong. Um, I'm honestly not paying that close attention, you know. I'm probably not doing a very very good job of, uh, you know, walking you through this game. Not that this is a walkthrough or anything, or, but, you know, it's not meant to be played to perfection, but, you know, yeah, yeah, I guess you can kind of, you know, whatever, go to Game Facts or something to look up a... Uh, more detailed information. It's a pretty, that's a pretty good site. They got you know all kinds of walkthroughs for games and you know really detailed and specific ones too. I don't know. I'm, as you can see, these these blocks are. Oh yeah. All right. And there's my first game over. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, the if I. If I didn't say it before, I'm going to say it now. The, the the jumps in this game are really the worst part of it. It's not that difficult of a game. It's it's pretty simple. Um, I've made some really stupid mistakes, uh, such as you know, 
uh, being in town at night and not just, you know, plant my ass down somewhere and waiting for daylight, but it's not that hard of a game, but the jumps, and, and, and you've, you haven't seen anything yet, there, there's worse to come. Yeah, the, these are kind of... Wow. Yeah, okay, well, I guess that wasn't too bad, but there's another good spot to lose a few lives. So, um, so anyway, I don't know, we'll, we'll talk more about the whole smoking thing later. And, and probably not, though, honestly, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I, it, it's something that uh, has just consumed uh, the entire past month for me, you know? The 22 days where I, where, I, where I stopped, and then, you know, the past however many days it's been now since I started again, I don't know, but it's just consumed <coughs> everything for me, and, and I'm sick of it, and, you know? I, I, I'm probably not going to talk about it too much when it's vlog time, just because I don't want to talk about it anymore, and I'm just kind of sick of it, but um, I'm kind of putting myself out there by, you know, making video, making YouTube videos, you know, and I, I made a video that I was going to quit smoking, and um, I've since failed, and I guess it's only fair that, uh, to anybody who happens to be watching these, uh, you know, kind of fess up, basically, and tell the truth. Although people that watch the vlogs might not watch the video game videos, so I'm, I'll have to, you know, relive this failure and shame all over again, I'm sure. Anyway, back to the game. God, Steve, what are you, what are you doing? Anyway, um, we basically have to go all the way back to uh, the point that we started the game. Uh, we've got to go all the way back to the first town and um, leave uh, that town to the left instead of the right this time. So we got a lot of backtracking to do. Yeah, see, something like that. To have that on a shirt would just be... I, I, I like things that are vague. I like references that are vague, and, and I, 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 I find things funny when I when I think that nobody else in the room knows, you know, what the reference is. Oscar's like, oh, I think he's just digging at the couch. Oscar's declawed, but he still he still scratches at the couch, and I, I guess I shouldn't use the word scratch because he's he's declawed in the front. I didn't do that to him um, when I adopted him. He already was declawed. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I I really am anti declawing on one level, but not on another. But uh, the decision with him was already made for me because uh, he was already declawed when I got him. But um, he still does this thing where he like, for lack of a better word, scratches at the couch, and uh, it, it, it makes a noise. And I, 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 it's still. He's obviously like, uh, you know, grabbing at the couch with his toes and pulling, but it makes this interesting noise that you wouldn't think that a you wouldn't think that a cat's toes would be that strong to grasp, you know, an object and, and, and make a sound when it pulls off. Man, my commentary for this is all over the place. Oh man. Now I guess that makes it a good one, right? But anyway, like I was saying, I, I like things that are vague, I like references that are vague, and uh, I like kind of, uh, I don't know, you, it, it's another way that I'm strange, you would think that, you know, in, in order to, you know, be, be around people and make a reference that's funny, and you could, that you could all share in the joke, and you could all laugh, but not me, I, I find it funnier when people don't know, or maybe just one person knows. So that's why I, I would like, you know, to have some of the sayings from uh, this game on like, a shirt. Or, you know, I could use, uh, you know, the dialogue from this game in a room and have people just have no idea what I'm talking about. I, I think that would be hysterical. Stuff like that I find funny. But I'm weird. From, for a while there, I didn't know if, um, if you could be harmed by the fire of your own sacred flame. You know, throw the flame down and walk into it that you would get hurt, but... I think I... I know I just did it, uh, just now. I've done it, a, like, right there. I've done it a couple times, and... No, we're good. That's good to know. 
So we are finally, should we, we should be back? Yes, we are back in the first town. Oh man, amidst all my rambling, we somehow managed to get all the way back to the beginning of the game. I'm kind of wondering if I should rest here. I think I've already kind of, uh, there's no chance of me getting, uh, there's no chance of me getting the good ending, or the, the, you know, that one particular ending, because you have to, uh, what do I do here? Because they're going to be stronger. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't going to be good. I think I better get out of here. It's going to make for some real boredom, but uh, I think I should go back to town, wait for it to turn back to morning, and then rest. Yeah, I think that might be the... Mm, I don't want to push my luck here, honestly. Yeah, no, forget it, forget it, let's go back. I'm sorry, this is going to be, uh, the rest of this video is going to be kind of boring, I, I, I gather. Uh, I'm just going to go back to town, wait for it to turn morning again, rest up, get my health back. Yeah, this... Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, forget it. Forget the heart. Just go. Go. Alright. <coughs> now, the potential is here for me, to, for me to, to do the exact same thing for a third time that I've already done twice. And that's to wander around the town with one bar of health and, uh, you know, screw up and get killed. Rather than just go into a corner somewhere and stand there. Plant my ass there and just stand there and wait for it to turn morning. There's the church. That's where I'm going to want to be to rest up. But look at me. Look, look at me. I, I, it's... <coughs> I mean, what, what would you call this? You, you would call this, like, insanity, pretty much. You would call this, when you know that you should do something, you're telling yourself that you should do something, but you're not doing it. It's kind of insanity. And not to bring up the whole smoking thing again, but it's kind of like that, too. When you tell yourself you shouldn't be doing it, and you go ahead and you do it anyway, you know, what would you call that? You, you would think that, that the person you're talking about is, you know, like a lunatic. I don't know. Yeah, so I'll just apologize for, for the commentary in this video. I'll, <coughs> I'll apologize for uh, this boring part right here. Uh, of just me waiting for morning. Especially since it just turned night, so it's going to take a while. Uh, my throat's all froggy. You know what's funny? is <laughs> It's because of smoking. I know it is because there is a... Uh, I remember other uh, videos where I was apologizing for like, you know, I had like a frog in my throat, I was clearing my throat all the time. I would say that the videos I've made uh, during like the three weeks where I wasn't smoking, uh, that wasn't an issue, and uh, it's just now realized, kind of dawning on me, <coughs> that there it is, that once again I got the frog in my throat. Don't ever start smoking, kids. That's all I can say. Just say no. crazy. Oh, jeez. My computer's going to do a, like, trying to do a backup thing right now. Why? Why is it always when I'm trying to do this, does this... Ugh. It's almost time to wrap this up anyway. I'm just going to go rest quick and... Oh, yeah, my computer does this backup thing and it's, it's got to pick the worst time to do it. You know, I'm playing this on the Wii, you know, and then I got the, the computer next to me, and anyway, um, that, that's going to be it for this episode, I'm just going to get a exit to the left of town here, get back to the area that was probably going to eat me alive if I'd stayed there any longer, but uh, we'll see you next time for more of Castlevania 2, uh, everybody take it easy, have a good day, thanks for listening to me, uh, and peace.